Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 10. Psalm 1 1 says, Blessed is the man who sits not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. And Psalm 1 introduces us to, to a someone who is mentioned over and over again in the book of Proverbs, and it's the scoffer. The scoffer is someone who has made up his mind. He sat down, as we see in Psalm 1.1. He is utterly confirmed in irreverence and makes a mock at sin. His conscience is seared. The seat of the scorner may be very lofty, but the Bible said it is very near the gate of hell. Blessed is the man who does not sit down in his seat. In Psalm 1.1, we see a progression. When men are living in sin, they go from bad to worse. At first, they merely walk in the counsel of the careless and ungodly, those who are not wicked or immoral, but just who forget God. The evil is more practical than habitual. But after that, they become habitual. They become practicing evil, and they stand in the way of open sinners who willingly violate God's commandments. And if left alone, they go one step further and become themselves teachers and tempters of others and sit in the seat of the scornful. Do you know any scoffers? Probably you do. I think we all do. They're not only found outside, but sadly even inside the church. They are just better at disguising at it when they come to church. If you've had to deal with one recently, you're probably still recovering from the experience. Proverbs gives us some ways to spot them so we can avoid them or at least recognize them and know who we are dealing with. The verse for today is an important one because we live in a society that is filled with scoffers. Proverbs says a lot about these people, and I'd like to read them, read some of the things it says for you. And once you hear them, it's not hard to see what the writer is trying to tell us. First off, he tells us in chapter 21, verse 24, he defines them for us. He says, Scoffer is the name of the arrogant, haughty man who acts with arrogant pride. But it doesn't stop there. And Proverbs tells us some other character traits. In today's verse, in verse 22, verse 10, He says, drive out a scoffer and strife will go out, and quarreling and abuse will cease. Proverbs 9, 7 says, whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse, and he reproves a wicked man and cures injury. Proverbs 9, 8, do not reprove a scoffer or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man and he will love you. When a person has reached the stage of rebellion and hatred, the only recourse is to separate from him, to drive them out. As we will see, punishment may be called for, but the time for reproof has passed. Proverbs 19.25, Strike a scoffer, and the simple will learn prudence. Reprove a man of understanding, and he will gain knowledge. 21.11, When a scoffer is punished, the simple become wise. When a wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. 13.1, A wise man hears his father's instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. 14.6, a scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge is easy for a man of understanding. 15.12, a scoffer does not like to be reproved, he will not go to the wise. And 24.9, the devising or the scheming of folly is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to mankind. These verses don't take a lot of explanation, they're pretty much self-explanatory. You correct a scoffer, you will reap abuse, he will hate you, and he will not listen. But he is not to be ignored. When you deal with scoffers, they will not learn anything, but the simple will learn wisdom. When you cast out the scoffer, you have cast out quarreling and abuse. Quarreling and dissension in the church will usually have a scoffer behind it somewhere. They will be the one with a big smile on their face. Scoffers love to quarrel. But God is very clear how he feels about such people. Scoffers are an abomination to mankind. That is very, very strong language from Solomon. They will be wise in their own eyes, so be prepared. They will have in their minds great reasons for all their actions, but mark these character traits carefully in Proverbs. By their fruit you will know them. So we need to heed David, David's advice in Psalm chapter 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. May God use this truth to guide us and to guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live for his glory 
and for the good of others. May God bless you.